for anyone to pursue any legal steps in order to have him provide information that he may have. Because this is not just about the one uh, individual who has made allegations against him. The, the United States Attorney for the Southern District of New York spoke with my clients and me when we were in court on, in August 2019, federal court in New York, and he assured us that this was a serious investigation of anyone who may have conspired with Mr. Epstein. So I think it's important for anyone, Prince Andrew or anyone else, who may have information, for example, about who else was in his circle, who else was in Mr. Epstein's employ, who was present. And then it is for the Justice Department of the United States to decide, is there sufficient evidence to file charges? Do they believe that given all of the evidence they think that they may be able to prove a case beyond a reasonable doubt in a court of law. So certainly, given that Prince Andrew has knowledge of, at least some knowledge of who was there in the various homes that he visited, of Mr. Epstein in New York and Palm Beach and the Virgin Islands, he certainly could provide that information. Now, of course, if, if he feels that somehow that it might tend to incriminate him, well, then I guess he'll not provide this information that is important to the victims because they want to know the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. But given that he appears to deny what has been alleged against him, then I think he should perhaps make these arrangements and speak to law enforcement as soon as possible. Well, well, these are if he doesn't know how to contact them, I'm happy to provide that information mm -hmm. to his attorneys. Lori, will these lawsuits become in I'll just say this. So this needs to be done without excuse, without delay. And it's all within his power to do that. And it would help. I think many of the victims, many of the survivors, to know that he's willing to do that, that he can set the example, and perhaps others then will also come forward. Individuals who knew Ms. Maxwell and what she was do doing all those years with Mr. Epstein or anyone else in the circle, I'm not going to name who they were, but those who were there know. And again, it doesn't mean that he may have any negative information to say about anyone, but just all we want is the, are the facts, and that's then for the prosecutors to evaluate what he has said. Of course, he's not under oath when he does that in a criminal case, in an investigation, but of course he would have the duty to tell the truth because lying to law enforcement is not permitted. Yes? Sorry, my, my question was, will these lawsuits become, in essence, a trial as though Epstein were still alive? These lawsuits will involve discovery. In other words, we will also be investigating the facts that we believe are relevant to proving our client's case. And then, of course, we'll be proving up damages. And that can be ongoing while this criminal investigation and or criminal case, if charges are filed, uh, are taking place. So it generally takes longer to get to a trial in a civil case than it does in a criminal case. But again, this is against Mr. Epstein's estate. There is a separate process that was just announced, I believe it was on Thursday or Friday, that the estate of Mr. Epstein is seeking to be permitted in court to establish a, an alternate dispute resolution process. But in any event, we are going to proceed with this civil lawsuit, and that's why we filed it today. And if, as, and when it can be settled for what is fair and just, for Jane Doe 15, 
then you know that'll be something that's taken into consideration but right now we want to know we want to know the facts ourselves do any believe, other question do you believe then gloria that based on what you've learned from Ms. doe and elsewhere that there is criminal culpability both uh, either inside or outside uh mr epstein's circle public or private uh, individuals and if so what is the nature of that culpability so the question is, do I believe there's criminal culpability of others in reference to Mr. Epstein? And of course, prior to his death, uh, there was a criminal complaint filed against Mr. Epstein, and it did not just include Mr. Epstein there. It also included unnamed co-conspirators. So that, that um, part of it is being investigated against the co-conspirators, although obviously the case against Mr. Epstein was dismissed when we were there in August in federal court. Um, I do not feel it's appropriate for me to weigh in and provide a conclusion as to whether I think anyone else had criminal culpability. I do think that is for the Justice Department of the United States to decide if there's sufficient evidence to bring charges. And then it is for the jury to make that determination as to whether any or one individual or more um, are guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. So I don't think it's appropriate for me as an officer of the court, as a lawyer, to, to reach that decision. I will say this. I do think that there is more than sufficient evidence to conduct a criminal investigation and that that is really important. And I also will add that it has been my experience with the investigators and the prosecutors from the Southern District who are pursuing that investigation, that they are serious, that it's very intense, that it's wide ranging, and we'll have to see what they decide. I don't ask them for their time frame. It's not appropriate. I'm sure they'll make a decision when they feel that they have completed their investigation. At the August what? hearing, did Jane Doe 15 make a statement in court or did she submit a written victim impact statement? At the August hearing, she did make a statement in court and she read her statement as a Jane Doe. Jane of course, no cameras were permitted in the courtroom at that time, but she was very, very brave, as were all of the other victims and survivors who read their statement or who had their attorneys read their statement for them. And so I was there with my clients, and, uh, and she was one of them. Boy, how many other victims are there that are on the record? Yeah, for anyone and everyone? Uh, in this Epstein case, huh? Oh, I, I, I don't have uh, any information about how many victims there were of Mr. Epstein. Not every person who alleges that she was or is a victim of Mr. Epstein was present in court that day. And I believe that not all have even come forward. And the reason I say that is because just this weekend, I've received emails from two other people who are emailing me for the first time and who are alleging that they are victims. So all I can say is numerous and not all of them are represented by attorneys at this time. On that note, Gloria, when, when, um, when Ms. Doe talks about a system of privilege that sexually exploits children, can you elaborate on that? or? or comment on how pervasive you believe that is? Okay. I can only say what I feel about that and, and rather than what she feels about that because I think she was very eloquent in, in expressing that. Sometimes if someone is rich, powerful, famous, and has very significant connections in this world that there is a feeling among many people in the public that they are not treated the same as if they were not a person of privilege. And 
given what happened earlier in the Florida case, um, 2006 to 2008, certainly I can understand where the victims then did not feel they obtained justice. Not only did not feel, but there's been a federal court judge who said on the record not long ago that he didn't feel that their rights as crime victims had been complied with. She, they were not even informed of the deal, that he was allowed to uh, enter the plea deal at that time, which would have been laughable were it not so serious for the victims. I mean, the idea that he got, I think, you know, just really months in, in, in jail, that he was allowed to leave um, and go to his office 12 hours a day uh, and, and more for the crimes that he committed because he was a sexual predator and continued to be even after his release. Is there a sense that, that is unlikely to have been the result for those who did not have the power and the wealth and the connections that Mr. Epstein had. How that came about, that will need to be even explained even further if those who were involved in um, in agreeing to that plea deal, that that be offered to Mr. Epstein. There are explanations that have been uh, offered in the past by uh, Mr. Acosta and others. Having said that, clearly, I think there's reason to be skeptical about why he received that and those who were not so powerful would never have been provided with that sweet deal that Mr. Epstein had. Is there a sense that these women won't truly get justice because he is dead? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear your question. Is there a sense that these women truly won't get justice because he is dead? So the question is, is there a sense that these women, meaning the victims, survivors, will not get justice because Mr. Epstein is deceased? Well, we're committed to helping them to win as much justice as is possible, both in the civil justice system and in the criminal justice system, should a case be filed there. And I might add, you know, all of my clients whom I represent have spoken to law enforcement, provided information they have. So we challenge Prince Andrew and anyone else who may have relevant information to do that as well. It, it took a lot more courage for her and others to go back into that painful place and in, their, in themselves to say it all again to law enforcement. They did it because they want justice. So now anyone else also should provide information. That will take a little courage it just takes sitting down with them and giving the facts. So I urge everyone else, do that for the victims. Provide whatever information you have. Don't make a judgment, well, this really probably won't help. Maybe it will. Gloria, Maybe Gloria, it won't. Yes. Jane Doe 15 said it changed her trajectory of life uh, after this happened. Can you talk about the impact uh, something like this has on Jane Doe 15 or other victims out there, survivors out there? She will give all of the details of the impact that it has had on her life. I'll, I'll just say it's, it's extremely serious. And she will provide all that information in the civil case, in a court of law. I think it's fair to say it's been devastating. It's been traumatic. And, but I'm so proud of her that she is empowered. And she's doing this and speaking out today, not just for herself, but also for other victims and other survivors who deserve the truth and who deserve justice. So this has been a long journey. And the journey will continue. 
but we're committed to it. I'll take one last question. Gloria, what are Prince your Andrew thoughts on movie. the latest interview done by Prince Andrew and his denial of knowing that the victims were underage? I couldn't hear your question. What is the latest? So he did an interview? Yes. And he denies that he knows that um, the victims were underage. Okay, she's saying Prince Andrew did an interview where he denies knowing that the victims were underage. Well, I, I don't know what his exact quote is on that. So I will just say this. He was in the homes, in the three locations that I mentioned. He described in his interview this weekend that Jeffrey Epstein's home was like a railway station, a lot of people coming in and out. Well, a lot of the people in his homes that were coming in and out in New York in Palm Beach, in the Virgin Islands, and perhaps in London, not to mention elsewhere, but that be for another time, were minors, underage girls. He should have asked, why are these girls here? Are they working here? What is their job? Are they going to school? Where are their parents? Are they living here? Are they living someplace else? Why are they traveling from one place to another? It's not something that anyone should close their eyes to. These are somebody's children. These are kids. He has two daughters. Would he want anyone else to close their eyes if his daughters are there and it seems inappropriate and that they might be at risk? Only he can answer these questions. He should answer these questions. He's now stated his case in, a, in the court of public opinion. Let him state what he knows to law enforcement. It's the honorable and right thing to do. I think it's his duty to do it. Okay, anything else? And that's it. Thank you so much for coming. I have uh, provided for you not only a copy of the part of the face sheet of the lawsuit that was filed this morning in New York with the case number, but also a number of photos of Jane Doe 15 when she was 15. And we also appreciate your coming. She's not planning to do any interviews. So she's made her statement today, and we thank her for that. Were well, any of these photos taken uh, at any of Epstein's locations? We're just providing the photos, thank and you. we're not uh, able to answer that question. Thank you, though, for the question. Okay.